Hello, Sculptor Chadwell here, and I haven't, I've just got to my studio not long ago, and everyone here is completed, and um, that's Eula number one, she's already been on camera before, but her, and Eula number two, I just went and gave my, my, my mom the uh, option of either one of those since they were made from things that she gave me. She declined on both of them. Um, she's got quite a few pieces of mine anyway. So anyway, that's Eula number one. Best part right there, baby. USA. Anyway, that's number two. At first, her head wasn't the strongest, so I added to it and made that not be able to jostle around. And anyway, that's number two. All right, all right, let's get those guys out of the way. All right, here is Sarah Blue number three, and she actually opens. You can see it. Anyway, um, and it's got one of my first business cards in there with her name on it. Anyway, that Sarah, I've decided to keep her as the name Sarah Blue number three. And she is done. All right, and this one, Golden Slacks has already been on camera before, but while looking at her, I think she thought she needed something added. So um, I had some of this twisted copper right there. And I thought that that made everything pop a little bit better. You know, it was looking, it was looking sparse down here. I almost want to cover up that silver somehow, but I haven't found the piece to do it with. And um, she's telling me she's done. Golden Slacks is done. All right. Don't know, I can't remember what order these were made in yesterday and the day before. All right. Let's get everybody turned right side. Right side, okay. This piece, this head, when I first saw it, um, it was some of the stuff my mom gave me. and I knew it was going to be a head to begin with. So I made a blank to put on the head. And that's, um, you know, that's a simple one. Anyway. All right. This was the last one finished today before I started packing up my stuff from the house to bring it here to the cabin. I finally finished this one. Um, I'm going to say flower head. I might change the name to a specific type of flower. And for some reason, I want to wrap her bottom half a little bit, but I'm, I'm fighting that off. I'm fighting it. I think I'm, I'm calling it done because it's secure enough to go out into the world. All right. This one. That one is a piece of a bracelet that I got from my friend Lee, and I got that bead from my mom. And it's two long screws right there, those 38 shells that I've been using. And before I attached everything to this torso, I flattened it with a hammer. And that's the back. That's how, that's how I've got it attached. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, last two. Last two. I originally wanted to use the watch band that was attached to this, but when I tried to attach it to the pair of legs that I had for it, actually, um, there's another pair of legs that was supposed to go on this, but it didn't work, and I had to junk it. Anyway, but... Anyway, um, I altered everything, and those screws are the same length, and I've tried to put them in far enough to where the 
length of each arm is slightly bigger than the leg. I try to make most of my people proportionate. And that one doesn't have a name yet either. And this one, the head was originally a pendant. It hung down like this. You can see the thing that it goes into the to the necklace right there. It had these nubs sticking out so that you can put things on it. And I just I just kind of clipped those off and then ground it to where it'd be kind of smooth. So its purpose is totally ruined except for being a head of one of my children. And any of these copper people can be put inside a solution of salt and water and put outside and it'll eventually turn green and oxidize which gives it a whole nother and gives it a whole nother look but i can't bring that to do it myself yet i've got a few ideas in my head going on with some oxidization people anyway i'm going to try to work on chainsaw arms or chainsaw legs while I'm chain chainsaw blade legs while I'm here and everybody is going into the crates so that I don't have to look at them anymore because the more I look at them the more I want to add because I've got some really thin blue wire that would look phenomenal on this piece but I don't want to I don't want to add to somebody that's already completed See, I'm my worst critic and my best because I like looking at them. And if I didn't, I wouldn't make them. Anyway, God bless. You have a wonderful day.